All right, so we just made it to our campsite for the night and we just made it before the rain came in and it is pouring. What is this thing? Can you look at this? Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. And for the last 45 days, we've been traveling from our home state of New Jersey to Key West, Florida, while visiting every coastal town along the way. In the last episode, we tried the famous Duck Donuts and explored the northern towns of the Outer Banks. Today, we are stopping to get a quick bite to eat at Goombay's in Kill Devil Hills before making our way south towards Hatteras. What do we got? Jalapeno crab balls. Read about this place and there were a lot of recommendations for these, so we're testing them out. I heard they're the spiciest balls in North Carolina. I don't taste spicy at all. And they're good though. They're real good. They're nice and crispy. Mmm. Well, with tax. They were 12 something. What do you think? Not that spicy. No. These are they good. do have like a little kick. Yeah. But they're not that spicy. A little spicy crab cake, kind of. So we're at Jockey Ridge State Park here in Nags Head. And it's basically like a giant sand dune. We're going to go check it out. Taylor was super pumped on it. But we're dragging our ass out here. So we're going to go take a look. This, my friends, is a wax myrtle, an evergreen shrub or small tree. It's common and widespread in the southeast. It's covered with like moss or something. The waxy fruit is a good wildlife food, and the wax can be used to make candles. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh! I like candles. She's interested. So Taylor has officially ditched me. It's really windy, so I'm going to talk pretty loud. But I'm just gonna go explore these dunes because I've never been in an area where it's just dunes all over the place. So this is pretty wild. Kind of imagine this is what it would look like if I were stuck in a desert all alone. I'd probably be pretty screwed. Want to know what to eat? Want to know what to drink? I don't know. It's sketchy. These guys are the absolute worst. I call them prickers. I don't know what the proper name is. They get stuck in your foot all the time, and I can't stand those things. There's a lot of them. Look how big that one is. Holy smokes. I was this close to leaving my flip-flops back at the beginning of the trail where there's just wood and not sand yet, but I'm glad I brought my flip-flops. Well, people are all the way over there. Good for them. Maybe if Taylor was here, I'd go over there, but probably gonna rain on us. And I better get back to the van. Well, how was it? Saw a gray fox. Wow. And a raccoon fighting. Wow, who was with him? I'm just kidding. It was cool though. It was good. I found the plant that gives off the prickers. All right, so we just made it to our campsite for the night and we just made it before the rain came in and it is pouring. I mean, we are, no, no, uh, you can't see. There we go. That flag is flying. Yeah, there's a tent over there. The poor guy might lose his tent. I really hope not, but man, oh man. I hope he's not in it. It's really, really windy. So the mic is gonna suck. I apologize, but I'm going to the beach. Checking out the surf. Also, the family just went over there. And it is nasty out. I don't know why they did that. With little kids on boogie boards. Oh, and they came back for their tent. They got it. It didn't fly away, which is great. Here we go. Woo! Man, these dunes are really big. Makes you feel better about the car. Not having to worry about that. Woo! Yeah. 
It is nasty out there. I can't believe there's a boat out there right now. Alright, I'm glad to see that the family is not in the water. They're just sliding down the sand dunes. Is that having me scary? Look how vicious this is. Center. Here is our work set up for the night. There's not much to do in this storm right now, so we are just laying low. Woo! That was fun. Going for a run on the beach this morning. It's a little windy, nasty out. A little uh, chilly today. Here we go. Woo! Good morning guys. Kevin and I enjoyed a slow morning at our campsite at Oregon Inlet that is south of Nags Head in the Outer Banks, however north of Hatteras and Rodanthe and all of those towns. Today we are going to be heading south towards Hatteras, however we are going to make a quick pit stop in Rodanthe. There are a few things I want to see there. However, before we leave, we have to fill up our water, get rid of our trash, and empty our great water tanks. How low are we? We're just going to start overflowing any second. Call it or what? All right. Feel it now every time I leave. It hits me hard and it cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from happiness Thousand miles from you It's a far reach from you to me I feel the time and the space between It's a thousand Over the bridge we go. So we're on our way to Cape Hatteras right now and it's a pretty cool road. We just got over the Oregon inland and the dunes are wild. The sand hills on the side of the road are enormous. I don't know how they got there, but it looks like just from years of shoveling sand off the road, onto the side or onto the shoulder, it just piles up over the years but it is pretty gnarly. So growing up, my sister and I used to read all of the Nicholas Sparks books. We used to ask for them for Christmas, for our birthday, and we used to just switch them back and forth. We've read everything from The Notebook to The Wedding to Safe Haven and The Best of Me, A Bend in the Road, literally every Nicholas Sparks book that I can think of. But today, we wanted to stop in Rodanthe, or I should say I wanted to stop in Rodanthe just to see this. I'm not around, but I'm not gone. I miss the bed you're sleeping on. Taylor is doing something from the end of Rodanthe, some Nicholas Spark movie, chick flick thing. I have no idea. I'm just the tour guide. I'll be here just waiting. I'm a thousand miles from Cousin thousand miles from you so nights in rodanthe for my sister and i is kind of like the notebook it's one of those movies that we just grew up watching over and over again and we just loved it so much so to be here in front of this beautiful house is like a dream come true there's something about being in the spot that you've seen on tv or in your favorite movie that just makes it that much more special and this is one of those feelings when Kevin and I decided to come down here to the Outer Banks, this was 100% on my list. So I'm really glad to see it. Every mile, every mile on my 
Avon Pier is pretty nice, the front at least, but that is the most crooked pier I've ever seen in my life. We are about to pull up to Hatteras Lighthouse, and I am quite excited. Cape Hatteras Light is 210 feet in height, makes it the tallest brick lighthouse structure in the United States and second in the world. Wow. Do you see this thing in front of us? Yeah, what is that? Drive the Globe? Is this thing? Can you look at this? I don't know, it's absurd. It's definitely a house or something. Oh, for sure. I mean, I'm pulling up right next to it. Montana. They saw it? Yeah, he just pulled up. Look at those bikes up top. Wow. We just pulled up to the coolest off-roading vehicle I have ever seen. Drive the globe. Let's look on that. Doesn't have to be creepy or anything. It's so cool. Drive the There he is. That is the coolest rig I've ever seen. Man. Yeah, I'm not as cool as yours. Man, did you build this like all yourself? I built the trailer, yeah. Yep. So we just left Hatteras Lighthouse and we checked out the beach around Hatteras, which looks pretty good. There was actually one guy surfing, but the wind was on and pretty heavy, so and it's getting kind of late, so and it's cold. But the, degrees. but the wind was on it pretty heavy it's getting late and it's a little cold out so i don't know if i'm gonna make it out today um, but we met a really cool guy named mike who has a really awesome rig and we're gonna go meet up at the campground right near the hatteras lighthouse in the next episode we are taking you on a tour of mike's rig from drive the globe this is the ultimate overlander and you definitely don't want to miss it also, thanks so much for watching. We're really starting to see the channel grow and just couldn't thank you enough. There's no recyclable tail. Well, crud!